This great opportunity is the mating flight of the Crixia, commonly referred to as water boatmen. The boatmen leave the water, fly to nearby trees where they mate, and then return to the water to lay eggs and wait for winter to arrive. The biggest fish in the lake are always looking for an easy meal, and as these boatmen hit the water, the fish eagerly gobble them up. Today we're fishing a small lake just north of Kamloops, BC, near Little Fort, where there are hundreds of lakes to choose from. So join us today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Unreal flat fishing at its best. That guy was just cruising around looking for food. And I put it in front of him <laughs> and he took it. Well, that was a, a good call. To whoa, come back whoa, whoa there he goes. Flat. Now he's mad. Oh, man, this is going to be tough because if he gets in those weeds, I'm in trouble. I got a four weight rod. Oh, nice oh, oh man. What a beauty. <laughs> and you know what? I saw him, he was cruising in about, you know, the two feet of water, just cruising along, cruising along. Yeah. Just lead him. You know the way he's going. Get that fly, you know, four feet in front of him. I allowed it to sink just a little bit. Yep. And I just saw him dart. And I knew he was going to take it. As soon as he made a move for it, he just, whoop, bang. <laughs> Unreal. Well, let's get him in and show everybody. Oh. Man. Oh. Boy. Now that my friends is a fish. Let's just lay the net down here. When they do take these water bowmen, Steve was telling us they do take them fairly deep, but this guy, Barbless Hook, didn't take it too bad. Mainly because I saw him take it and I was able to, to get him. So we'll hold him up here. He is a nice fish. Oh, right on. There he is there. Nice, nice big male. He's almost in there. He goes. First, when I came out here, I kicked. Unless the camera guy said, hey, there's a fish over there. I said, oh, it's a nice big guy. So I kicked over a bit, cast to him, boiled at it. Yeah. Didn't take it. So yeah. we knew they were in here. Yeah. They're cruising around looking for food. So. Oh, well, this is where the, the guys that are feeding yeah. are in here. Yeah, they are. That was your call to come back in here. Because the guys in the main lake, they're just cruising. They're not really looking for food That's yet. That's right. But it's early. Oh, we're it's just getting early. started. I think we're going to have some pretty heavy action. It's noon right now. It's just starting to heat up. Yep. Water boatmen don't come down. Really, until it warms up. Yeah, about noon is yeah. usually when they should start they coming start. on. Yeah. yeah, right on. That's a good start, though. You bet. Oh, especially when you pick them off in the flats like that. What a rush! See you him, see him yeah. dart for it and boop, take it. I love it. Now, if we can pick off some more, and you don't have your polarized glasses. I don't. You banana. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to trade you in for a guy that can see. <laughs> I can pick him. <laughs> you can pick. <laughs> What I've got on is a, an intermediate sink line, and I've got a sink tip on the end of it, so it's actually getting down quite a ways. And casting into the weeds, oh, I'll just change it up a little bit. So I cast it out from the weeds. Oh, there he is out there. Oh, he's a nice fish. Oh, this guy's getting in the weeds. Come on up out of there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nasty boy. <laughs> Good fighter. I gotta make sure I don't get too close to the weeds here with the wind. Well, the wind's picked up. I guess. Just what you expect on a on a lake like this. Nice, uh, nice bit of breeze, which is probably good. I mean, there's not as many crickets in the air yet. I'll probably wait till a bit later to come out because of the wind. But it's good for when they do come up to the surface because with the wind breaking the waves a little bit, it just adds to the stealth factor for us trying to catch the fish. They're not so skittish coming up to the top to catch the to take the natural flyer, to take the, the ultimate boatman, which is what we're using today. Oh, look at that. Hey, eh? that's a nice fish. A beauty. Oh. Nice, healthy, fat. Just on the edge too. 
Okay, now lift him out. Make sure everybody. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> That's going. And off he goes. I just came over here because I noticed that there were a few fish rolling in the real shallow water. And I put that boatman out there, and sure enough, one grabbed it. That's a nice one. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Big fish? Yeah. This one probably spawned this year. and She's just coming back into, into good shape, but she's a pretty nice fish all the same. Oh, yeah. Oh, beauty. There. Yeah, that's gorgeous. You betcha. A little skinny, but... Well, uh, beautiful fish, though, yeah. Yeah, she's coming back into shape real nice. Yeah. And there she goes. She just took that boatman, just bang. The ultimate boatman. I had uh, I had one on right here, and he popped off. Yeah. And I heard a big splash behind me. I turned around, fired it in the splash, and took it almost immediately. <laughs> What's well, happening? They're coming on. It, it is. Yeah, Don's on to... too. Don's got one too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Gee. What a fish. What a toad. Wow. Oh man, he's all hooked on the weeds. I'm gonna have to get him up right here. Cause he's right in those weeds and I got, I can't, I can't get him up. Yeah. They're tough in these weeds. It's another toad though. Oh, look at that fish. Hi, <laughs> fish. What a beauty, eh? Yeah, right on. Right in that, uh, right in the nice weeds. Unreal take. Phenomenal. Well, they're splashing around, you know, and you can see them. Yep. Splashing yep. around in here. 